taking my Lawrence of Arabia look. There we go. It's going to be sunny. We are heading into the desert. We have about 700 miles left to Mexico. And this is the beginning of a, kind of a whole new region that we're starting. Yeah, so we're going from here at Kennedy Meadows South to Tehachapi. Yeah, and we're going to kind of do a little bit of a lengthier time because we're going to slow down and enjoy ourselves. We're going to be joined by another couple named Owell and Snats who are going to yeah. kind of hang out with us for the next week. And we're really excited about it. So let's go look at some cacti. Let's go there. No, we're going there. There. Goodbye, bear canisters. Our first Joshua trees. Oh, those are Ruben's favorite. I bet he's also going to record some Joshua trees. What do you want to bet? 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, would you look at this? There's Joshua trees here now. That's pretty cool. A plus. Got there. Into Reese's Pieces bar. Oh yeah, did you make that yourself? I did. Cool. Yeah. A plus. Yeah. Um. Oh, you put the whole thing in. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting to brag on Ruben uh, whenever he sews some of my stuff up, but he's a really good sewer. And you can only see just a little bit of pink thread there because we didn't have the right color, but he sewed up a hole in my shirt this morning. It was really awesome. Thanks, Ruben. First we hiked 500 miles and then we hiked a thousand more and then we hiked 500 miles again <laughs> and now there's 650 to Mexico. So we have been uh, sucked into going into town by these amazing awesome friends of ours. So we're out here trying to hitch into uh, Ridgecrest. Let's see if it happens. Get some food. Like two days into our section. But it's been so fun. Hey, so flash forward two hours later and our friends have all gotten rides. We volunteered to be last. Um, not the best, but we did just get some cookies from some random people on the side of the road. Get in the hot tub. <laughs> our last breakfast with Moneymaker. Oh, bacon. <laughs> That's the second time. It's fine. It's totally fine. And we got cinnamon roll French toast. And uh, don't forget Gretzky's budget breakfast. Awesome. <laughs> so we are on about a two and a half mile road, road walk, quote unquote. It is a dirt road. Uh, but it made me kind of really think about the fact like, this is the first and longest real road walk that we've had. There's about a half a mile in Ashland, Oregon, but the PCT is almost exclusively in the woods, like in the wilderness, which has been lovely. The AT Appalachian Trail has a couple of places. Uh, that's a road walk like through towns like West um, Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, uh, Hanover, New Hampshire, Damascus, Virginia. And the Continental Divide Trail that we'll do next year also has a lot of road walk, but it just makes me appreciate um, how much trail has been developed here on the Pacific Crest Trail. It's awesome. Holy water. So here we are at Bird Spring Pass and some wonderful trail angels maintain a water cache here which is especially key since we're in the desert and it's dry and there's not a lot of water and we need that to live. That's science, right? Yes, thank you Trail Angels, we really appreciate it. Thank you for helping us to stay alive. Yay! Uh, that is not a red light, that is a moon next to our tent. All right, now I'm gonna scan. Watch out, everyone's eating. We're having a fun little campground, and um, Gretzky uh, packed in some grape juice for us. Mm. Grape juice. Mm. Thank you for the grape juice. <laughs> bye bye. Whoa! Welcome to Fort Bragg. We're having Fort time in the woods, except that it's the desert. We're hiding from the sun. It a treat. We got a motel, and it's got two bedside stands, and we got all these new stuff. I got some new trekking poles, some new shoes, and we got a care package. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. That's new. Oh, monster size. Uh, ginger, crystallized ginger. Cool. We'll share that with our friends. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thank you. Uh, love it. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I, apparently I just really want to eat meat right now because I'm getting really excited about that. Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs. That's fun. Oh, thank you, Even Dad. You're thank the best. You. Oh, more ginger candy. <laughs>
<laughs> Halloween costume shopping at Kmart. <laughs> Lunar is creepy. <laughs> I always eat too much in town. I'm so full. There's all these stickers all over the desert here so far, and they kind of stick into your shoes, and they're really sharp and pokey. We have to make sure they don't get in to the tent because we don't want them to poke a hole in our sleeping pad. The gnats are back. It's like NorCal all over again. They're just everywhere. What's, what's this face? It's my poo face. <laughs> you gotta go find a place to poop. Yeah, we're in a campsite though. I think you're safe. Yesterday at this time, I was bundled up with gloves and a hat. And today at this time, I'm sweating, it's hot. The desert is weird, y'all, weird. So not only do we not have a lot of water in this section, but why is it not safe? Uh, because the government found traces of uranium, so it's like radioactive water. That's good for you though, right? No, darling. So double F moment. Of course, the bugs are continuing I have to wear this net like almost all day. There's a lot of downed trees, so we have to keep going around them. It's annoying. My zipper is being a meanie and it's stripped so I get stuck in here, which is really bad when I have to pee. Oh, it's a windy, windy morning and it's cold. Woo. I know why they've got wind farms out here. Jesus. Okay, kids, when you hear the word poodle dog bush, it makes you sound like something that you want to pet, right? But no, there's this bush right here in Southern California that likes disturbed areas like this uh, fire area that we're growing through. It's called poodle dog bush and it's poisonous, so don't touch it because it will create a skin rash. Kind of like poison ivy has a very potent smell. There's not a lot of it out here because I think people have been out here trying to kill it, but it's bad. You don't want to get near that stuff. <laughs> 